Hi, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha, Goddess of Life 1111. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for my lovely, beautiful Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Solar plexus chakra just fall out. This is a general love reading. It won't resonate with everyone. If this reading is not resonate with you, please check out your other birth chart placement for more clarity. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you to all my beautiful Virgos that are subscribed, share comments in my video. I appreciate all of you guys. And I'm sending lots of love, light, and blessing your way. Thank you, thank you. I am grateful for all your support. Let's get it. Energies are fluid. If this reading is not for you, that means it's not meant for you. Keep it positive. Blossom, a brand new beginnings. You know, this is making a judgment call to do the right things here. You know, someone could be, you know, there's two major arcana here, which is that telling me, Virgo, you are right here. You try to make a decision. You know, on a new beginning because here you are coming out the reading a little bit late. Yeah, brand new beginnings for my Virgo. So we definitely know this is you here. You try to bring something back, back to life. Bring something. You know, make a judgment call here for a renewal. Challenging times. Could be regarding some um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Healings begin. Master. So this is the devil card here. You could be dealing with an um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a um, Capricorn. Someone here is trying to healing um i like this with the devil card you know even the devil you know heart get to break too people you know they don't just break i feel like you know whomever you are dealing with if you're dealing with a capricorn um they could have aquarius in their chart or you could be dealing with the court an aquarius or a libra Gemini aquarius this person is trying to heal they try to healing you know, toxicity, toxic ways, the way of being, what is them holding to, you know, how they think. This person is healing, which is, this is beautiful. Six of Swords is here. It's healing. And you, because you try to have a new beginning, and I feel like you're not letting this person in near you. Whomever you are dealing with, you feel like they are toxic. So you like, uh -uh, you don't want to open your heart to this person. You don't want to open your solar plexus chakra. They're asking you here to have confidence. You know, you have a lot of power here. Use your power. Have confidence in yourself here. Because the challenging time telling me that you like, uh-uh, you protected yourself like you are ready to battle and stuff. You don't want to hear this person. You don't want to see them. You don't want to deal with them at all. But they are healing. Reconciliation is at the bottom. Yeah, there's a reconciliation that's coming. Let's see your friends help you. There's a reconciliation. This person, want, someone want a reconciliation with you. But you're like, uh-uh deception yeah you don't want to deal with this you don't want you really don't want you want something new and this person doesn't know that flirt yeah you could be flirting with other people but when it's come with this energy here you don't want to deal with them so that you know that's what i'm saying you could be also want the uh you know a new beginning with this person but you don't want to tell them romantic feelings yeah someone still have romantic feelings for you someone have feelings for you, period, but they are healing the energy here. It is safe for you to love. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Someone could want a reconciliation with you. You might not want that because you feel like this person is toxic.
the hermit see you keep coming in you keep coming at the bottom yeah you're the one who wants to know beginning you want to know beginning with someone but you're not telling them because you have ace of inspiration this is a brand new beginning and also this is you here you come in you keep you try to meditate go on introspection you know uh, reflects into a situation you try to find you know some answers here whether you should give this person a chance uh or not because you you felt like they are toxic that's what you say mm -hmm. for inspiration you could be dealing with in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you are stable. You feel like, you know, there's stability, you know, there's stability, there's, you know, love, there was happiness with this person, but you're not telling them. You could feel like this wasn't even your twin flame. Muse of material. You want, you want, um, financial gain material. You know what I'm saying? Stability, stability. Knight of Cups, wish fulfillment. Yeah, you want to be happy. You want to be happy with someone. You could feel like this person is your wish fulfillment, but at the same time, you you know, there's something like because this due to the person nature, you don't want to deal with it. Page of materials. You wanna uh, this person want to offer you something, even if it's small. Queen of materials. You could be dealing with another uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is Taurus energy for me. Five of materials. Yeah, this person felt left out in the cold. You left them out in the cold because you felt like they are toxic. I got you. You want to be happy. And you say you are happy here. Yeah. That's why the four of ones for my cup of Virgo. It's Virgo. Pop of Cups. <laughs> Pop of Cups. You know what? You're feeling guilty for treating this person this way. You're feeling guilty. I'm just saying. Pop of Cups is you feeling guilty, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Will of Fortune. The cycle as an end, this is destiny, destiny, fate, you know, whatever you call it. The cycle is the end yet. So it could be in a karmic situation that you have to, yeah, this is destiny, the chariot to move forwards, to, to move forwards with uh, your life, with the situation. But you, you feel like you are very in control of the situation here. But it's destiny for you guys to um, continue on your journey. The death card. Could be ending into a situation. Knight of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, my beautiful Virgo. The unknown. Wherever you are going and stuff like that, you have no idea what to expect. But you are going. You're not afraid of the unknown. They for the night of emotions. Ooh, Lord. Oh, good Jesus. Oh, you ready to open up emotionally? That's great. Okay, Virgo. You ready to open up emotionally because you want to have the Ten of Cups. So you ready to tell this person how you really feel, Virgo? That's so sweet. Yeah, you no longer are holding back. You no longer, you like, you ready to tell this person how you feel. Because you want to turn a cup with them. You want to celebrate. You guys could be celebrate a birth of a child, a marriage. You know, a brand new celebration here for me. With the, you have the three of cups, the ten of cups. There could be a lot of hanging out with friends and family and celebrating and stuff. But whatever this is and stuff like that, this celebration, you are happy, happy, happy about it. Yeah? Because this, there's a lot of drinking going on. The Ten of Cups with the Three of Cups and stuff like that. I feel like you are intoxicated, happy uh, by you that drinking. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups. Yes, a lot of drinking. You feel some type of guilt here, though. When it's come to whomever you are dealing with. 
over here. So I feel like the Pedro materials. Ace of Cups, yeah. Someone in here get rejected of a no love offer. There is no reconciliation here. Someone want a reconciliation, but you don't want to. Because you're happy here. Drinking yourself, have fun, hanging around with family and friends here. You are basically happy on a family dynamic here. Clarify the ace of um the ace of cups, please. The lovers. Oh, someone here loves you, Virgo. They love you. They feel like you are their soulmate. That's what this person say. You are their soulmate. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to put on the work. They will do put on the work in this situation. Wow. And I heard eff effortlessly. They find the Queen of Material. Yeah, someone from your past. Wow. Six of Cups, please. Yeah, someone from your past. This person think about you. They loves you. They want to put effort, work, Knight of Pentacles. Someone stable, grounded. Financially stable also. They want to do the work. They got the Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This person want to put the work effortlessly in this situation. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please, for my Virgo. Look at that. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone does want giving and receiving with you, but you say no to them because you rejecting of it. This person felt like you are their soulmate here. But you're not giving this person the Ace of Cups because you are really in a situation here. A family dynamic that you're pretty happy about. You felt like this is your destiny to move on into this family dynamic, celebration, marriage, whatever this is. You felt like you are happy to do this and you reject this person here that, you know, very attracted to you. They feel like the bond between you guys is inseparable, but you're like, nope. Someone that's want to do the work, that's want to be your wife, that's ready to be your wife, that's want to give. Clarify the five of materials, please. Yeah, but definitely left out in the call. Queen of Swords. So now they turn out the Queen of Swords. If you don't tell me the truth, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, seven of wands. So, you know, this person is, now they are guarded. This person, they want all of this, which with this person, they feel like they're your soulmate. This person, they want to give an into relationship. They want to be the, you know, uh, wife here, taking care of the household. But they're like, now they come as the queen of, queen of principles, giving, receiving, loving, you know, a mother, um, nurturing mother, um, taking care of the household, do everything. But they're like uh, changing their mind now into the queen of swords. By being, you know, a little bit cold here with the seven of wands with the queen of swords. That's someone that's become a little bit cold because once they find out you are in a situation, and I'm pretty sure this person is going to find out you are in another, another situation, they're going to give you the cold shoulder here. My Virgo, they're going to give, they're going to be guarded. They're going to be protected themselves. Yeah, someone is going to be very guarded here because they're hurting. Yeah, a queen of wands. Look at that. A queen, the queen of wands and the devil. They just both flew out. Yeah, you feel like this person is toxic. The devil come out twice for this person. So you feel like this queen of wands is toxic. You don't want to deal with them. That's why you're in another situation. But this queen of wands felt like you are very attractive. Maybe they are obsessed with you. This person might be a little bit obsessed with you. Because we have the devil cut here twice. Mm. Oh, there's the tower. The tower. Two of cups. And the ace of wands. So there's a tower coming for someone. Someone will get a tower. 
and they will get a soulmate that's gonna bring down the ace of wands there's a beautiful energy <laughs> outcome for someone here but the tower i will have to come for them and there you go see two of cups the tower will come first the two of cups then a brand new beginning mm -hmm. there's communication that's coming toward this whole um energy here well my virgo i'm gonna leave you with this let's see what the angel have to say yeah we did devil cards here twice and stuff like that you say they're toxic whatever the angels say i'm good with it this person feel like you gotta you gotta be gone and stuff like that you know okay so yeah someone got some addiction they need to work on with this recovery telling me someone got some addiction they need to work on they need to recover from within the next few months peaceful resolution mm. obsession a year from now <laughs> So, if you guys going to come together, it's going to be about a year from now. You ready? Trust in this universe say you are ready. I love you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Virgo.